firefighters in Lake Ozark will soon be getting more money for the fire district. Voters passed a sales tax in this past election. Marina Silva live in Lake Ozark with a look at the way this could improve safety. Marina. Well, the district wants to use some of that money to not only hire more firefighters to work here, but also to replace some of those aging trucks. I've always been against raising sales taxes. Tim Griggs is visiting the Lake of the Ozarks today. He would prefer a property tax increase instead of a higher sales tax. I think that probably would have been more fair. But Griggs also does not live here. He does, however, understand the need. I know the fire department's always, uh, you know, needs funding to, uh, to do their jobs. But uh, I just think we pay enough taxes as it is without having to raise more money. The Fire Protection District tried to hire property tax first last year, but it didn't pass. The higher sales tax did. Not just one, but two of them. Money from the extra half of 1% on the sales will go to firefighters and the EMS slash ambulance side of, to get the other half of 1%. I think you came back in August last year after our tax levy didn't pass. Uh, and I told you we were going to uh, find other ways for funding, right? Through that grants or through this. And I think um, the sales tax was sales tax initiative, the quarter sales tax was more beneficial to our residents because they can share the tax, tax load with our visitors. One of the first things the district wants to do, find workers. For some hiring, we're going to hire some uh, members. We're kind of... Uh, understaffed, I would say, uh, right now. Uh, also going to start uh, getting into like a, a rig replacement plan. Deputy Chief Roberts says the district is looking forward to continuing to keep people safe. And we're very excited. You should start to see that money on your, on your receipts uh, within the next few months. Reporting live, I'm Marina Silva, KY3 News.